Obviously, maple syrup doesn't originate in a bottle. Canadian maple syrup comes from a single ingredient, maple sap. Even before the sugaring season in January and February, maple producers in Quebec, Canada begin tapping the trees. They put taps right into the trees, so the sap, sometimes also called maple water, can drip out and be collected. But the process does not begin there. In the summertime, maple trees build up sugar reserves due to a process called photosynthesis. The next spring, the sugary sap rises to the top of the tree. This is called flow, and it only happens if the temperature alternates between freezing, between minus 10 and zero Celsius, and thawing, between zero and plus 10 Celsius. Traditionally, the harvest of sap was done by hanging pails on the trees. When the pails got full, they were emptied into a larger container, such as a barrel. This was taken to the sugar shack, across the snow on a sled pulled by horses, oxen, tractors or snowmobiles. Today, the pails and barrels have been replaced by a tubing system. This connects all the trees and takes the sap directly to the sugar shack. When it gets to the sugar shack, the sap flows into large tanks, where it goes through a mechanical concentration process called reverse osmosis. It passes through a membrane that filters out everything except pure water. This concentrates the sugar molecules and other active elements. What comes out is maple concentrate, containing between 10 and 20% sugar, vitamins and minerals. There's one last step. The concentrated sap goes to the evaporator, where it's boiled to the temperature of 104 degrees Celsius. This causes a natural phenomenon called the Maillard reaction. The amino acids in the sap combine with its sugars to turn the sap darker and eventually into maple syrup. The Maillard reaction is the chemical process that gives Quebec maple syrup its color and flavor. But that's not all. The time of the season also plays a part in the color and taste of syrup. In general, as it gets later in the spring, maple syrup becomes darker and more caramelized. Early in the season, it's lighter and milder. There are four classes of maple syrup. Golden with a delicate taste, amber with a rich taste, dark with a robust taste, and very dark with a strong taste. Did you understand all that? Can you remember all the steps it takes to make the maple syrup you have at home?